All right, guys, so we've been getting a bunch of questions about the Vandy Vape Squonk refill bottles, and I'm actually gonna show you how to use it today. It's very simple. Um, this one in particular is the 30 mil, and it is a clear one, so it's easier for y'all to see. Um, but it does come apart in a couple different pieces. You have a knurled top, you have a knurled top cap to the bottle, and then you have the bottle. Now, um, this one is really, really, really high quality, and I'm very appreciative of that. I've seen a couple of other companies come out with these, and this one is definitely top of the line. So what we're gonna do is, this little piece up top unscrews like so, bloop, 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 to reveal this little guy. Underneath that is another knurled piece that unscrews, and that is how you would fill the bottle. Now, um, just for cleaning purposes, that little ring does come off of the little silicone bottle as well. So you can clean it very, very, very easily, um, just in case you wanna swap flavors. Now I'm gonna put this back on and I'm gonna fill up this bottle. All right, so now I've put some juice in my bottle and I did not fill it up all the way just so that you could um, actually see on camera what I was doing uh, whenever I go to fill up the actual Squonk bottle. So I'm gonna put the top back on this piece. Just like that. Um, so whenever your bottle becomes empty, all that you're gonna do, and it's like really, really simple, is unscrew your atomizer. You're gonna take this top piece up here and screw it onto the 510 like this. And you do it upside down, um, just so if you turn this bottle upside down, of course it's gonna spill everywhere. So what I like to do once I get here, is I squeeze the squonk bottle, just like that. Keep it squeezed or pushed in, turn it upside down and release. Now, what you're gonna start seeing are bubbles come up here, um, either on their own, or you might have to give it a little push. And that's gonna fill this bottle here. And I don't know if you can catch it on camera because the one that they put in um, the particular uh, regulated Vandy Vape that I'm using is a black one, but it is filling up. And there's no mess around the sides, none of that. You also don't really have to worry about um, it overfilling. I could sit here like this and tell you an awesome story about my weekend if I wanted to, uh, without it overfilling. So that is something awesome that Vandy Vape did with their um, little squonk refill bottles. Now, whenever you can, you can fill, uh, feel the bottle here, and it's really, really tight. So that means it's full, the pressure's in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it upside down again and unscrew that off. And if you look at the tops of both, there's no liquid leak that has leaked out anywhere. And this is the, the easiest way to do it. Um, now I'm ready to go. Put your atomizer right back on there and you can squonk away. It is a lot uh, simpler than removing the panel, removing your battery, removing this bottle, unscrewing the bottle. It's way simpler. And I think it's brilliant that they actually came up with this. What's awesome is that if you did not purchase the kit for the regulated Squonk Mod, if you did not purchase the, the kit that came with the little bottle, we at vapewild.com are going to be selling the bottles separately. And they come in all of these awesome colors as well, including the clear. We will have them available in 30 mils and 50 mil bottles also. So that's awesome. Um, something else I did notice is that these are not just for Vandy Vape Squonk mods. You can use this on any of your squonking mods to refill the bottle instead of having to take it all apart to refill the bottle. So that is awesome. Good job, Vandy Vape. Please let me know if you have any questions. Comment down below. I will do my best to answer anyone if you have any questions that I did not cover in this video. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.